Hey, this is Daryl as a service for Guardian 365. Uh, I've installed the uh, full creators update for Windows 10, and one of the things that I wanted to check to start with was uh, files on demand. Um, hotly requested feature. Uh, it's been talked about a lot uh, from the insiders as they've been testing it, using it, and I've held back. Uh, I wanted to just, you know, let the full cre full creators update arrive on my desktop in, in a timely fashion and um, not really push my my system or make too many changes while I use it for work. Um, but yeah, one, one thing that I, I did, I, I installed the update a couple of days ago, uh, just before I jumped on a plane. Um, didn't check it at all, you know, arrived at the hotel, actually didn't even try to connect to Wi-Fi. I thought, ah, no blow this, I'm going to get some rest, maybe read a bit on, on the tablet. Um, following day, just did a a, a whole bunch of interviews um, uh, using OneNote and recording the audio and typing things up as I, as I went. Um, noticing a few differences and changes in Windows 10 but not really spending a lot of time looking into it because I was on a customer site and wanted to have a look. So um, I listened to a, a podcast from a friend, Rich Hay, who um, is usually a rich source of information. Sorry, uh, and he, um, you know, had this piece in his, his uh, podcast about the the update, and of course he's um, been writing quite a bit about Windows 10, and um, he shifted his blog posts to IT Pro today, so uh, that's what I managed to track down. Now, uh, what I wanted to share was, um, you know, I, I was interested in trying to find. Well, it looks like I've got Windows 10 Vol Creators update. Um, what about this uh, files on demand? What does that look like, and, and what should I be looking for? Uh, and he mentioned that um, you know there are those of us that aren't going to get the update, uh, the full creators update until it it comes out and it's compatible with uh, or rolled out in waves to different uh, hardware. Um, then he did mention about being able to just just check and see if it's if it's available for your hardware surfaces. It's covered because Microsoft makes the hardware, so they know it's going to work. Um, I did it on the day and, and found it was available for the Dell XPS 15, so that was all good. Um, and yeah, I, I then learned from his podcast that um, the um, OneDrive update may come or will be coming as a separate update. Uh, it seemed to come at the same time as, as the full creators update for me, but I wasn't convinced, I wasn't sure, because I went in and I wanted to look at Okay, is it there? I'll open up OneDrive and and I saw it um, in the consumer version or the, the, the OneDrive personal. So we'll have a look at what I did manage to find. Um, going into here, so I was looking for it. Um, well, let's actually have a look in our OneDrive here. So this was this is my big indicator here. I'd, I'd gone into the OneDrive personal. I could see those status icons. And so I'd heard about these. I knew that this was showing that um, new status icons showing whether it's it's synced up or not. I thought, okay, this is a good good indication. Uh, but, you know, clicking back to uh, the web page, I looked into um, oops, his article about... Um, you know that it, that it comes separately, but you can also go and purposely download the the OneDrive files on demand um, application to bring it up to speed and and have that files on demand with the new Full Creators update. So you know, pushed through and did that. I, I don't think I needed to do that. I think as I saw those icons there on the OneDrive personal, it looked like I was I was covered. I had the update, but I did it anyway. Um, so that you know takes you through to the support page to be able to download it and and push it on through. Uh, now I I wanted to look into it because I I still went into the um, files on or rather OneDrive, and I was more interested too in seeing do I have this? Is it going to work with um, SharePoint Online and the the document libraries that are synchronized, um, and my my um, OneDrive for business? Um, so clicking through to uh, my OneDrive for Business or my personal tenant um, doesn't seem to have the same icons. And I thought, okay, this is this is strange. There, maybe there's something more that I have to do. I uh, went into my work drive for Adopt and Embrace, uh, and then I was also looking into um, the some of the libraries that I was trying to synchronize. Um, so again, no, nothing seemed to have changed there. So uh, looking further into into this, there is uh, one setting that I think Rich added to his article later on, and it does talk about what you need to do to 
um, enable and turn that files on demand for OneDrive for Business on and for, for SharePoint document libraries. Um, so it's not just that you install it and it's there, that'll work for personal, but what you do need to do is go through and into your settings, um, you'll, you'll, you'll be turning that feature on. Um, so we'll just minimize that so we can see it a bit easier. Um, choose one of my libraries, or rather one of my OneDrives that I'm connected to for work. And in settings, um, we have a tick box here that says save space and download files as you need them. So you do need to tick that box, it's not going to be uh, turned on um, by default. Uh, so I think that is about it. Now I haven't done this yet, I don't know what effect that has, it looks like it's doing a few things to... Um, oh yeah, okay, so it's signed me out and signed me back into OneDrive for business. Um, if I go back in here now, okay, so I can click and see, yeah, that's all in place and working. Um, settings, so that's all still in place. And if I click on it, I can dive straight through to the files themselves. And there you go, I've got my new icons. Uh, it's more than more than icons, but it is showing me, signifying that um, for at least my OneDrive for business, that this folder called attachments is still in the cloud whereas I am synchronizing the content from the Outlook folder projects and shared with Microsoft so let's have a look if shared with everyone if I've got my um, you know that's got a few files in there that are empty huh. maybe that's not a great folder to use to try and demonstrate that um, but I let's have a look and see if there's anything in there yeah, so on demand, potentially I don't have any folders in the cloud in there. I have done a tidy up a little while ago. So in Outlook, yeah. All right, so there's there's files there that have been synchronized. What happens if I want to just um, not synchronize that one anymore? View online. Uh, always keep this on my device, so that, that means it's going to synchronize down or free up space. So this means that it should turn it into a placeholder. There's a lot of stuff going on in the background down there. So online files uh, save you a lot of space. Yep, good. So it's just confirming is that what I want to do. Um, well, in fact, it's already done it. This is more of a, an activity feed to say I have um, chosen to to keep these files only in the cloud and free up space on my local machine. So that is that's cool. Um, okay, done. We're happy. Um, available in Outlook. Yeah, uh, so going back into that folder, um, each of those files are now set to being in the cloud. Uh, and as simple as, let's have a look at color range. I wonder if I just double click that, it's going to synchronize it in the background. Okay, so this is all that, it feels like it's a, a Windows Explorer experience and it's downloading it. The file is there now, so that's cool. Um, and if I close it off, um, it now shows as a file which is uh, which is local. Pretty simple. Um, you know that that ex just that that capability of reaching out and saying I want that file feels simple. Um, freeing up space, uh, it's definitely a case of you want to right click the file and say I don't want this on my machine anymore. Free up space. Um, so doing that, we've instantly changed it to a cloudy file. And uh, oh yeah, no, that's the other OneDrive. So that's that's at least OneDrive for business. Um, yeah, I should have prepared this earlier. Let's uh, <laughs> let's race through and do this. Uh, let's log into my portal, Office365.com, and just find an appropriate library to to synchronize. Um, da -da 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 -da. Sorry about the hold music. Dotty dot dot, that's my login. We'll get into a SharePoint library, this shouldn't take too long. I've got a ton of demo kind of stuff and other things that are more practical. Okay, SharePoint. Choose a site. So getting in through to that new SharePoint home site. Well, not so new. We'll go into my operations demo site. And there should be a library in here that I can just synchronize with some documents. 
<laughs> yeah, first pick and I choose something that doesn't have documents. Now, I know marketing has, surely. Marketing create a lot of documents. Even my demo creates a lot of documents. Seems that my marketing demo people continue to create documents. <laughs> no disrespect to marketing people. Um, so yeah, here's a bunch of files. Uh, we'll synchronize that library. And uh, yep, 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 yep. Open a OneDrive. All the things that you would normally expect. You might notice that the um, the size of my OneDrive windows is is out of whack in terms of the um, scaling, um, and this is a problem that I find with some applications on Windows 10. Uh, I use a docking station. I plug in, I unplug. It rescales, but some of the applications don't rescale when I change those different conditions. Um, Skype for Business is another one. And I'm hoping that OneDrive for Business uh, and rather the, the new OneDrive client is, is not falling into that category. But anyway, let's have a look at, not this one, it will set up our web tech. It'll be my libraries. So here's my marketing documents. Ah, interesting. So I have chosen, and maybe it's still synchronized in the background. No, it doesn't seem to be. What I've chosen is I have chosen to sync the library, um, and it has created those placeholders. It's created the placeholders for the folders um, and the placeholders for the files, but the files themselves aren't on the machine. Um, my expectation would be I click on sync, it's going to pull it all down. What it's done is it's created the, the connection, the, the placeholders, um, and it hasn't really pulled those files down. So maybe there's a setting I haven't got in the background and someone might be able to tell me um, that uh, that is there that I, I should have that will pull those files down automatically. Um, I forgot to flick over and see. Yeah, there's one person that's viewing. Um, so yeah, if you do have any comments that one person who's viewing, um, maybe maybe you can tell me, but it looks like these are just placeholders. So if I wanted to bring down this file, it's, it's just like I showed earlier with OneDrive for Business. I double click on it, feels like a OneDrive, uh, a Windows file experience of dragging files from one folder to another. It'll download it. It'll open the file. All good. Uh, but I won't try and dig in too far for that setting. Um, I think that there's going to be a setting somewhere in here which allows me to, uh, when I choose to synchronize a document library, and there's our document library, marketing documents. <clears throat> I can still choose just folders. I've got save space and download the files as I use them. Now, thinking about it, that phrase actually has the clue, doesn't it? Um, save space and download the files as I use them. So even though I'm in SharePoint Online and I'm I'm clicking on it saying I want to synchronize this library, um, the behavior is going to be, I've ticked this box, I'm only going to be downloading these files as I use them. So these placeholders uh, are really behaving as as you would expect from the description of of that feature you're activating. I have connected to that library I've said I want to synchronize these files down, and I, um, um, you know, because of the setting, um, I'm only going to download them as I use them. So, yeah, that's cool. Now, this means you need to be mindful of it. Um, if your plan is, you know, you're going to be making a trip, you want to quickly uh, download a document library or download a folder that. Um, that if you have the setting um, there and available and you're planning to work on these files on the plane, uh, that you will need to um, you know, go through and say, I want this file, I want that file. Um, so that sort of experience would look something like this. If we've, we've got all our placeholders, um, let's see if we can go through and go, I want this one and this one and this one. Oh, three. Um, let's have a look. Is there anything that we can just right click? Hopefully this Okay, so that's free up space, always keep on this device. So I'm picking that. If I choose this, it's going to download all three. Yep, woohoo, by design. Um, oh good, and we've got the progress counters there too. So we've already got historical costs down, and then this is the last two documents that are coming through. So if you do have that, that setting on, be mindful. And I've said this a few times now on the broadcast. Be mindful um, that you do need to go in and select the files that you want to use because that's what it says that you are 
save in space and downloading the files as you need them. So if you need them on a plane or somewhere where you're not gonna have bandwidth, then make sure that you do that beforehand. Oh, good. Well, thank you so much for sitting there and listening to me and helping me figure it out. And um, it's a little like a, uh, a psychiatrist that you go and visit. They, sometimes they don't say much. They just get you to talk and you talk back to them and you come up with the answers yourself. So thank you for listening. Um, so that was Daryl as a service, uh, looking at files on demand, how it operates with a SharePoint document library, how it operates with the um, OneDrive for Business as well, uh, making sure that you've got that update, that you can tick that box to say, I want to start using this feature, and the implications of that. So if you're synchronizing a document library down to your machine, if you have this setting available, then you do need to still go in and say, I want that file, I want that folder, because um, it will just leave placeholders for you. Daryl, as a service, signing off. Enjoy files on demand. Bye for now.